Hey guys, Masis here from Zelda Dungeon, and welcome to another look at some of the items in my Zelda collection. Uh, today we are looking at the Eugen figurines from Phantom Hourglass. These little babies came out back in 2007, shortly after the game's release. This is the complete set, all five of them. Each of them came with this little like pamphlet, just showcasing some of the artwork. And uh, most of these items are really small. The figurines are actually uh, somewhere in the range of one and a half to two inches, uh, depending the smaller and larger ones. Each of them come, they have like a little stick that they stick to the little pedestal here so that they stay in place. However, these individual items, they are loose. So they can move, they can fall, and they're so small that you could lose them. There's five characters here, and they each come with their own little item. Uh, Link comes with his little hourglass, which is pretty sweet. I really like this hourglass, but it's really, really tiny. So we got Lineback here with his rupee, since he is the greedy, friendly pirate. Uh, Tetra, I guess, just comes with the little heart. That one sort of doesn't fit, I guess. But uh, Tetra doesn't play a prominent role in Phantom Hourglass, other than she's a statue most of the game. Spoilers. Uh, we got a phantom with the force gem from the Temple of the Ocean King. Uh, my favorite of the bunch is the Big Goron with his son, Gan Goron. Uh, the reason I like this one in particular is that each of them have their own little stem that fits into the base. So it's uh, much better to display. It doesn't wobble around. You're not worried about losing the pieces. So this is the full set. I think they're sweet. I really like them. Uh, and they were pretty cheap. When they originally came out, they were only 200 yen a piece in Japan. And that translates to uh, just under $2 in the US in today's currency. So very cheap. Nowadays, they are a little bit pricier because you can't just get them over the counter. Uh, but you can still find the complete set for about 25 bucks or so. Uh, just for a size comparison, they, they I kind of view these as almost like the predecessors to the amiibo because they've got the little bases and they're about the same height uh, comparing it to like the toon link amiibo these are smaller than even the smallest of the zelda amiibo so they are teeny tiny but uh, still great to have on display uh, a cool collectible i'm always a big fan of figurines and statues and this is almost the smallest that it gets so uh, one of my favorite items in my Zelda collection. But thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you guys next time with more items from my Zelda collection. I really think they should have had an Oshis. And Oshis has some cool artwork. He's got like this old man with like a cane. He should have been there instead of Tetra, I think. Or even the Phantom, because the, the Phantom... The Phantoms were more of a role in Spear Tracks, because you got... Like you can take control of them, you know, Zelda becomes the Phantom. But this is Phantom. Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass. It all makes sense now.